Hello and welcome back. All right, so we've got our basic uh, rock, paper, scissors here and uh, heads and tails um, programs. But what I want to do now is see if we can talk a little bit more about, you know, uh, doing some data collection with these data management uh, and exploring with, with that. And so uh, I'll just go th quickly through what I have here for the code. Uh, and the main part that I'm really concerned with uh, or want to focus on is the rock, paper, scissors. So on shake, when I shake it, we're going to pick an item, uh, a random number between 0, 1, and 2, or between 0 and 2. So we have three options. And that gives us item is equal to 0, will be a rock, item equal to one will be um, paper. And then because there's only three options and the leftover one is number two, we're gonna do that, uh, we're gonna see that that will be leftover as scissors, all right? So what I wanna do now is I wanna see how I can maybe take this and instead of shake and it only does it once, but I can have it go multiple times. And then we can start to think about what happens when we have more and more of our um, we're playing rock, paper, scissors, but what, what happens when we have more of a percentage, right? Because we could use this and we could, you know, do this five times and then see what we're going to get uh, every single time. But if we start to get up to, you know, like we want to do this 25 times, 100 times, 1,000 times, 10,000 times, it'll be a little bit more complicated to, to do that. Or we can just not necessarily complicated, but it'll just be time consuming for us to do that. And so what we can start to do is use some code to help us with that. So the first thing I want to do is I want to be able to store the number of times that I get rock, the store the number of times I get paper, and store the number of times I get scissors. And the way to store those things is variables. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, I've already created a variable for rock. I'm going to create another one for paper. And then last one, I'm going to say scissors. And then, so what I'm going to do is instead of, um, so at, at the very beginning, I want to start off my, my rock and papers and scissors at zero. So I'm just going to use that in the drop down paper and then I got to go into basic and get the on start block here and I'm just going to put those two and I'm going to add my third one so we got rock still to put in here all right so I'm going to start off I'm going to make sure that I'm not I I've never played rock paper scissors so I'm going to start off with those at zero 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 all right and then the next thing I want to do I'm just going to move this one out of the way we'll come back to uh, a and b in a minute um, but we've got our on start rock paper scissors is starting off at zero and then now when i shake it i can display the icon but i also want to keep track of it and so i'm going to use this change option here and so change scissors by one change rock by one, put that in the rock one here. And then I'm gonna change paper by one. All right, so now what I can do is instead of, um, so nothing's changed really in terms of my code, what I'm gonna display, but now paper will go up by one. Now there's no way for me to to display that there's no I, I can't see those values um, so what I can do is instead of having on button a show string Andrew is I'm gonna get rid of this uh, actually I'm gonna keep that and instead I'm gonna show rock colon and then I can display number and there I'm gonna display the number of rock and I can do the same sort of thing with button B and so I'm just going to get rid of button B for now I don't need that code anymore I'm going to duplicate this whole thing and instead of button B 
I mean button A, it's going to be button B, and I'm going to do paper. And I'm just going to change this one to paper. And then the last one is scissors. I can say scissors. This is I'm going to use A and B. And then scissors, colon space. Okay. So now let's try this again. So I'm going to do shake. So that should be one for rock, one for scissors, one for rock. So I just did it three times. So if I hit on rock, it should display rock. And then it should show me two. Great. Whew. I was a little bit nervous there. And then if I show paper, it should show me zero. And then last but not least, scissors. We can see it scrolling across there. And that's one. All right. So if I wanted to explore some more, I can also add in uh, and get them to do some math and maybe the percentages of the total, um, those sort of things. And and that's, uh, that's something maybe I'll do near the end of our session. So now that I've gotten this and I'm keeping track of them, I can start to think about, OK, let's make this go a lot more times. And so I'm going to do this. Uh, and so I just need to sh shake it a lot. but I don't want to shake it a lot. I want it to shake and then run a certain amount of time. So I'm going to use a loop here. So this loop, I'm going to put around everything that's in that repeat. Now, when I shake it, so it's going to shake four times. So I did one scissor. So it, it did that four times and did it do four scissors? I don't know. Let's go find out. So scissors, it was at one before, so it's at four now. So it did three scissors. It's probably because it went through so quickly that it showed the icon, but it showed another one. So the last one it did was scissors. But instead, what I want to do is so that it's not displaying the image every single time, because this can get very, very long, is I'm going to take out all of these and what I'm going to do is at the very end I'm just going to do a little check mark that says I'm completed all of my code all right so I'm going to restart my program so the restarting it will again put my rock paper scissors at zero and so when I sh press shake it's finished doing it so that was pretty quick it did four rock paper scissors rounds so and also, just for um, speed's sake, I'm just going to put RPS in here. Uh, I'm going to have to run it again because I changed some code. So there we go. R is 2. P is 1. S is 1. Perfect. So that sort of works out. And we can imagine as we, you know, well, when we did it four times, obviously one of them is going to come out two, but, uh, well, not obviously, but we can start to think about, okay, well, what if I run this, you know, a thousand times, what will happen? So that res reset it. So I'm going to do shake. So it did that a thousand times very quickly. So R was 327. P was three. 57 and s was 316 all right so it's you as you can start to get bigger numbers you can start to think about well we know or we we you know in theory rock paper scissors or the numbers 0 1 and 2 have a one third or a 33 percent 0.33 um uh probability of popping up and so if we run this a thousand times we would expect rock to be about 333 paper to be about 333 scissors to be about 333 and so with those numbers as you just saw 
We're starting to, you know, 327 for rock was pretty close to expectation, but paper and scissors were not, which is sort of weird. So you can start to think about, well, what if I repeat this experiment? So I'm going to press this reset button here, press the shake again. It went a thousand times. So rock is now at 336. Wow, very close to expectation. Paper is 327. Pretty close. And so I, again, I imagine this one's going to be close. Yeah, 337. So very close. Now you can see they're, they're you know, plus or minus a, a, a few. And so if you did this a few times, or if you wanted to raise your number up, now we're not doing it a thousand times. We want to do it, I'm going to go crazy, 25,000 times. So let's shake, and it went 25,000 times. That was pretty quick. So that is 8,414. So we're thinking about that number is makes sense. 8,274. And the last one is 8,312. So, like, this is some great data I can start collecting, and I don't have to think about, okay, I'm going to play 25,000 hands of rock, paper, scissors. Right? Even if that took you a, a second each time. You'd be there for a long time, and so you can see that within a few seconds or within a um, a few minutes of just adding in this repeat and da data collecting here, you can start to see your numbers. And uh, so, like I mentioned before, is right now we're just outputting sort of the raw number of rock paper scissors. But if I wanted to find out the percentage of that, well, that's easy. I can just do some math. And maybe um, I can say on pin zero pressed. So pin zero are these pins down here. Um, so zero, one, and two. And they can sort of act as buttons. So what you could do is maybe display the number that is going to do. Uh, and now we have to actually do some, some big math. So we're going to add up all of rock, paper, scissors. So this will give us our total. And so I'm sort of stacking them. You can sort of see that I had to stack the two of them. And it, you got to be careful when you're putting them together so that they don't push each other out. And so now we've got our paper plus rock plus scissors. That's our total number of throws. So that makes sense. And this number should be 25,000. In, in this trial. Um, and then we can start to do some math based on that. So we can do some percentages. And so if we put in here and we put all this in our denominator, and then we put our, let's just say paper in our numerator. So we got to be careful when we're putting it in here. It'll select, it'll sort of highlight where it's going to pop it into. And so Pin zero is going to show the paper divided by the total. And I think my brackets are all good. So you have to sort of stack your math. And so order of operations is very important when you start to do this. So this is one way to do it. The other way is you could have created a new, um, a new variable, call it total. And then that makes it a little bit easier for you to, to explore. And so maybe I'll just do that quickly. So total again is rock plus paper plus scissors. And then we're going to show paper divided by total. So let's go ahead and run that. Oh, we just had to wait for it to finish. So uh, I'm just going to reset it, make sure that we're at zero for everything. Going to shake it. So it's done. It's 25,000. And here, if I click on the zero, There we go. So 0 0.33, as expected, right? So we can use this to look at our numbers for rock, paper, and scissors. So the first one we have is paper, we have rock, and then we can go ahead and do do that. So you can see how you can sort of build on top of this with your 
with a, a little bit of code to look at those percentages and you know or uh, a decimal point of what you would get out so it's not exactly a percent it's um, it's uh, similar to that so with that, I just wanted to show you how you can, you know, explore, uh, go beyond just the regular rock, paper, scissors um, to think about, well, how can I do this a bunch of times? We're going to think about probability and exploring with, with rock, paper, scissors. Well, here we have it. All right. So thanks very much for watching and uh, happy coding. If you ever have any questions, please, please reach out. All right. Happy coding.